Hello everyone, back to tuning into today's second video. We're going to have a look at the weather for the next 10 to 14 days for this video. Day 10 will take us to the 9th of January and we'll be able to extend out beyond that with the extended GFS and ESM ensembles. We are running to around a couple of weeks. Have a look at CFSB2 at the end of the video for the next four weeks. I'll get on that for you in a moment. Just say the first video we say is our 6 UK weather forecast. Make sure you subscribe on both of today's videos. I might be live tonight doing uh, the 12th said uh, round up live stream final live stream maybe of the year so uh not sure if i will or not i don't know start what we got today so i'm pretty tired i'm gonna have a sleep after i get this video uploaded and then i'll see how i feel a bit later but if i do go live it will be after 7 p.m as i say please like share subscribe thank you so much everyone uh, for doing that now, i've got some shout outs to do i'm gonna do some today and uh, some tomorrow from lovely people who have donated to me and also to uh, Gaz, whether it's via our PayPal page. So, hello! And I uh, hope you had a lovely Christmas and Happy New Year to uh, Stephen Dargan. Hello to you, or Starsum, I think that is. Hello to you, Stephen. Thank you so much um, for your donation. Absolutely amazing. Hello, to, hello and Happy New Year to Carl Gentleman. Hello to you, Carl. Thank you so much. And hello to uh, Nick Taylor as well. Good evening to you. Uh, Nick, or hello to you, and thank you so much uh, for your donation. Happy New Year to you. And then we've got uh, Anthony Hopkins. So, hello and Happy New Year to Anthony. I don't know if that is the Anthony Hopkins. I'm assuming not, but, like, it would be exciting if it was, wouldn't it? <laughs> Um, but, uh, no, hello to you, Anthony. Happy New Year. Hope you had a lovely, lovely, um, uh, New Year. And, uh, hello, Clarice. <laughs> Right, well, if you'd like to give a donation to Gaz Levins, all you need to do is go to our PayPal page, sign into your PayPal account. I mean, donate what you want. Get a shout out and happy new year. Message from Gav in uh, the video. So thank you so much, everyone, for doing that. I say I've got some more shout outs to do tomorrow. But thank you to Stephen, to Carl, to Nick, and to Anthony. Blimey, I wonder. <laughs> Anyway, have a happy new year to all of you. Thank you so much for your support. Right, okay, let's have a look at the latest wind blow map from EarthNullSchool.net. Showing that we've got high pressure in the Atlantic uh, now, away to the northwest of the country. Around that, we bring in the wind from a chilly uh, northeast direction. But that high pressure will go further north into the new year, and that will switch the wind into a proper northerly. So if I drag the map in that direction, you can see at the moment, we've got very cold Arctic north is plunging into towards Scandinavia, but a subtle adjust adjustment of the high pressure to Greenland um, on New Year's Eve or New Year's Day will allow a proper northerly to descend. So where the coldest of the air is bottled at the moment, bottled up at the moment, that will be unleashed, unleashed when we get into uh, the New Year. Section temperature is gradually declining, currently sitting at 7.0. That's still nearly 2.5 degrees above 61 to 99. Average provisional to uh, yesterday to the 29th of uh, December. These are GFS upper air temperature and precipitation ensembles. Next couple of weeks, we're going to Oakham today. Suggested location from uh, Nick. So I uh, hope you enjoy seeing Oakham, uh, Nick. So with the uh, red line is the 30 year upper air temperature average for Oakham. I'm starting off below average with the upper air temperature. But we're going to see upper air temperature coming up a little bit. But then it'll be dropping again as we go uh, through the weekend and into next week, becoming really quite cold. Temperature, upper air temperature going down to about minus 10 at 858 grade. We've got a lot of scatter now appearing in the second week of January. So a general warming trend, but still with a lot of cold runs in the mix as well. So when we push on into the second week of January, looks really quite uncertain at the moment. Precipitation wise, quite a bit of dry weather to come over the uh, next few days, though around uh, the weekend there could be some precipitation, possibly some snow uh, then. And then more unsettled into next week, and some of those will be rainbow spikes, some of them will be snow spikes. Uh, snow row for Oakham looks like that. So we do see uh, uh, snow spikes there again around the weekend through here and then uh, through the course of next week. Maybe not as many snow spikes though as we were seeing with these ensemble grass yesterday. 
Attention nominees for the next five days, the form of January substantially colder than average. Eight to twelve day is a little bit colder than average, particularly for the norm. And ten to fourteen day again, the norm cold and average south near normal. Precipitation anomalies for the next seven days, most places coming out drier than average. Right, let's go through chart data then. So have a latest UK Met Euro Road to midnight on Friday. Normally winds, so a uh, very cold uh, Arctic winds descending north-south across the country. Into the weekend, we keep those normally going, so it's going to be a cold weekend. There'll be snow rests in places as well, and certainly some sharp overnight frost. Maybe turning a bit less cold into the beginning of next because the wind back slightly into more of west over so south is still looking pretty cold there. I can is uh, looking like this. So again, those Arctic normally winds are descending through uh, Friday and into the weekend. It was looking cold with northerly winds continuing. We keep wind in from the north into the beginning of next week. Gradually start to back that wind round to more of a westerly maybe, possibly implying a short end to this uh, cold snap. Once again, I forgot to get the KMA up, so that I'll get that up for you right now. Okay, so this is how the KMA is looking. Again, northerly winds descend through the new year. It will be a cold, wintry, potentially very wintry uh, weekend with snow possibilities for some of us. Into next week, low pressure comes in from off the Atlantic. So only things less cold could be fun and games with that transition, of course. You can see rain and snow. I mean, cold air coming back in from the north and the northwest again towards the latter stages of uh, next week. We end up looking like that going into a milder push from southwest by the 11th of January. 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 Do, 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 do. So sorry, everyone. Uh, GFS, starting with the uh, midnight run. And if I can find where we're going, we're going there. GFS midnight run looks like this. So again, we've got those northerly winds descending. They'll be bringing winter at the end of the week through the new year, lasting into the weekend as well. Uh, now, early next week, some sort of trough is in the mix there. That could bring uh, some snow possibilities from west to east, cross-country early next week. You're mainly to a minor push of westerly winds as we're getting up towards day 10. Beyond that, going very mild with high pressure to the south and dragging up a long vet southerly southwesterly before we go back into those northerlies. Uh, again, in the extent, you check that out. That gets us towards the middle of January with northeasterly winds bringing potentially some very cold air in from the north. So very up and down there with a big night run. At times very cold, but there is a very mild interlude that we go through for a few days just around a Slightly beyond day 10. And the GFS 6 said in comparison, again, with those uh, northerly winds descending through the new year, into start of next week, well, we could get a snow event out of that area of low, punching through the country into the cold air. And then uh, after that, we start to introduce a milder push from the west and from the southwest. So eventually, by the end of next week, we are turning uh, milder here, high pressure south, low pressure north. Then we go back into colder northwesterlies again, though, as we are head into the extended, with heights never really lowering towards green. Now, the cold air is never that far away. So as we get to the 15th of January, as far as we get to, looking generally quite cold then, and battle lines are drawn. Well, if you enjoyed the video, please like, share, and subscribe. Thanks so much, everyone, for doing that. Drop a comment, let's know what you think about this sound, all our videos and content. And of course, don't forget to tell your friends about Gals Weather. It's and get to subscribe too. Thanks so much, everyone, uh, for doing that. Right, GM, again, with low pressure moving into Scandinavia, high pressure pushing up towards Green Iceland. At the end of the week, the new year is looking cold and wintry with northerly winds then. And we keep the northerly wind going into the early part of next week. Again, trough of low moving in from the west. Into that cold air could bring a snow event Monday and Tuesday. Beyond that, wet and windy and less cold up towards day 10. And then the uh, East Jam is rounding it all off. Got to go to midnight run. Again, we've got those northerly winds plunging the cold air southwards at the end of week. In 
winter weekend, cold and wintry. Mid Atlantic, this ridge going to Greenland, Chofflo over Scandinavia, and very cold with both northerly winds. So we keep those very cold northerlies going, really, as head up to day 10. So, uh, trying to bring something a bit less cold in for the Atlantic around day 9, 10. Could involve some transitional snow, but of course. And then we are into more of an Atlantic push, though, in the extended with the ECM. So, turning milder, wet and windy of air as we move up towards the middle part of January. This is the presentation podcast based on my ECM run from Tometro.com. So, once more, we see a lot of dry weather over the next few days. But snow showers will start to get in Scotland for New Year's Day. And um, that we could bring some winter showers further southwards on Friday across parts of England and where possibly some snow. Then, into the weekend, snow galore into northern Scotland, and snow showers generally affecting coastal regions. Early next week, a band of uh, rain, sink, and snow moves in from off the Atlantic. That's day 10, uh, 9th of January. These are the options on the table within the ECM Ensemble today. For day 10 from the Icelandic Met Office. Get to the 9th of January. 14 members of the East Ham on Sons of Truffalo over country. A block out in the Atlantic. That still looks cold and wintry to me. You've got 13 with low pressure to the east. A ridge out to the west. That one looks potentially quite cold. We've got 11, possibly in slight more of an Atlantic flow. Uh, we've got 10 again with high pressure blocking in the Atlantic. Going to up towards Greenland, low pressure on south and east winds again in from a north north east direction, and we've got three high pressure again blocking towards Greenland, low pressure on south winds in from the north east. Most of the options still look cold, I think, at day 10. In two weeks' time, these are the options that we've got, and this will be getting us to, of course. 14th of January, 16 members of the East Show on sides of low pressure in the Atlantic, bringing mild, wet, windy weather. Uh, another 16, I should say, do that. Uh, 14 with a trough low over country combined for a ridge in the Atlantic. That could still be keeping things quite cold and wintry. Uh, 14 here uh, with high pressure around Green and Iceland, low pressure south and east. That keeps winds in for a cold north northeast direction. And then we've got seven with low pressure, more or less over country, and perhaps a bit more of a westerly flow. Most of the options look cold at day 10. A lot of the options look cold at day 14. Not quite as clear cut at day 14 as we saw yesterday. Um, but I think still generally the emphasis within the East Semel Sommels is probably still towards colder up to mid-January. CFSB2 and then we are done. So if I can find the right tab, there you go. These are 500 millibar high tolerance. Break it down into week periods. The first week period takes us from the 30th of December to the 5th of January. Low pressure is to our inside pressure is to the west. And winds are coming in for a cold northerly uh, direction there. And then week two is going to be the uh, 6th of the 12th of January. Again, low pressure through the north and the west of Europe. High pressure blocking the Atlantic towards green. And that should still be keeping things cold with winds in from the north and from the northeast. Week three is looking like this. So blocking beginning to ease slightly, although still there to some degree, but going more towards the Canadian side of Greenland. Um, and just probably reverting to more uh, west or southwest. So becoming less cold and uh, staying unsettled. And then week four, round it all off, is going to be the uh, 20th to 26th of January with high pressure to the south and that will bring wind in from a much milder southwesterly direction of January ending on a very mild note potentially there. Temperature anomalies for week one are coming out significantly colder than average, interestingly. So not just the UK, but really cold into uh, Europe as well. But we are included in that for a change, not on the periphery, but properly in the centre of it. So a cold week to come for week one. And week two is also looking colder than average as well, quite significantly and uh, also substantially so with below average temperatures. Week three starts to see a little bit of a recovery, though, in the temperature uh, anomaly going slightly above average then. And at week four, actually looking uh, very mild then, if the CFS is right, that's the 20th, 26th of January, very mild at that point. But of course, it's four weeks away, so let's wait and see how it all plays out. We don't really know what's happening as early as the start of next week. So beyond that, I would say, pinch yourself. 
will soon. Okay, we're done. If you enjoyed the video, please like, share, and subscribe. Thanks so much everyone for doing that. Drop a comment, let's so what you think about this and all of our videos and content, don't forget to tell your friends about Gals Limits and get them to subscribe to you. And thanks so much everyone for doing that. And tomorrow we're gonna to have a six UK weather forecast and the final video of the year, which will be our New Year's Eve 10 to 14 day. That'll be late on in the day, uh, because I've got to do a six a.m. until 5.30 p.m. shift at what the gap will be on the Iron Lung by New Year's Day. But I will get you to the 14 day I've done for New Year's Eve, but it will be quite late, probably about half six, seven o'clock in the evening, something like that. Well, you enjoy the rest of your... What day are we? What day are we? What day are we? <laughs> you enjoy the rest of your Tuesday for this one. That is all for now, and thanks for watching.